Hi guys, get ready with me. <laughs> it's a girl's night out, so I've already, of course, had my shower. I have put some moisturizer on. Now I'll be putting my face on. <laughs> so get ready with me. So tonight I'll be using the Estee Lauder's Flash Illuminator. I am going for a dewy, illuminating, um, glowy look tonight because I just want to look fabulous for the evening out. And that is the Cover Girls, sorry, LA Girls um, concealer, which I would be applying on my hyperpigmented areas just to cover them up. And, so that I can look a little bit flawless tonight. I'll be using my, my Kat Von D's foundation. I love it. It gives me a matte finish. But hopefully the illuminator would shine through it. And give me the dewy glowy look that I am looking for. And guys, what I want you to keep in mind is this is not a tutorial. <laughs> It's just me simply showing you how I get ready for an evening out. <laughs> so, after application, you just need to keep on buffing away so you can get the nice natural look. I also am using the Black Opal's um, foundation because it also gives me an extra coverage that I just love as well. And it goes well with my Kat Von D's. It makes it look less matte and gives me the perfect finish. I <laughs> normally apply my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray and I just blend and blend because I want my makeup to just stay on all night because I'll be dancing. And of course, you can't go out without doing your bit of contouring. You need to get those cheekbones sharp and on point. So I am using the LA Girl. That's the very dark shade. It gives me a very good contour and matches perfectly with the rest of my makeup. It's the Toast. And I just like to blend it in because it, it gives a nice natural finish instead of that cakey finish that powders are likely to give you. And I like to bring my contour line lines all the way towards my chin because it narrows my chin even more and gives me a sharper look. And now onto my eyes. I... I'm using the very thin brush just to just further blend in my contour around my nose. And what I just showed you is a lighter shade of a concealer. <laughs> it's above probably three shades lighter than my normal skin tone. And I just place it alongside my contour so that it highlights it a bit more and for me I think it gives it a even sharper defined look exactly what I need I just put it any way I feel like putting it for me I have no <laughs> rules although I try to keep with some makeup rules but I just apply as I see fit and that's exactly what I'm doing here, blending in and now I am adding the Fit Me um, bit of powder to my face and to just set it. It's my exact skin tone so there won't be any much of a difference but I just want to set it. Just adding some a bit of 
highlight a bit of extra glow that's just a sample I got from Sephora I don't even remember what it's called now on to my brows I'll be using the CoverGirl very dark powder to just um, apply to my brows because it's a very nice brown shade and it gives me a more natural finish than a harsher pencil line so that's what I'm doing here and <laughs> I am just applying it and making getting it as perfect as I can for the evening out <sighs> And that's the pencil. It's a pencil from NYX, I think. I am not 100% sure. And it has the brush attached to it, the brush applicator, which I don't often use because I have a separate one. And now onto my blush and my NYX primer. And I'm just applying it to my eyes as I am about to just add that... Um, blush it's a blush but I use it as my transitional color for my eyes whenever I'm going out at nights because I love the shade it's absolutely stunning so I'm just applying it to my eyelids <music> The next jumbo pencil in dark I just love the effect it gives when I apply it and I love to apply this for an evening out a night out it gives me the perfect smoky eye that would go nicely with the outfit I have in mind for tonight I just blend the hell out of it <laughs> Because you just, you don't need it to look scary. You need it to look very polished and flawless for an evening out. And now I am applying my eyeliner. I am using the CoverGirl. It's, I love this eyeliner. It gives me a very um, thin stroke and in doing so I can apply my wing liner with little or no um, errors. It's perfect for applying my wing eyeliner. And I love a wing line when I'm going out. It really gives it a really nice sexy look and I am applying my falsies <laughs> I am not very good at this yet but I do my best <laughs> And of course you can see that I keep on adjusting it because I just want to make sure that it doesn't fall off <laughs> when I'm dancing. <laughs> and now onto my hair. I did two braid, braids at the top, the crown of my head, and I applied a bunch of flexi rods all over to give me a nice wavy look for the night. And here I am applying my lip liner. This is a, an Avon lip liner I have had in my collection for quite some time. And I added a dab of um, Colored Rain 
very purple lipstick. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> and now I am applying my Kat Von D's um, Vampire on top of it to give it that nice bold vampy look that would match so nicely with my outfit voila <laughs> and onto my outfit i am wearing this faux leather um mini dress from forever 21 it has the perfect length and the perfect style that i wanted for the night and i'm pairing it with my strappy gladiator um, sandal from Fashion Over along with my purse from Winners. I love this purse. It's gorgeous. I wear it most often on my evening outs or any gala events. And yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for getting ready and um, sharing the few minutes with me. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. 